Hmm. What can I do for a photo shoot? What can I do for a photo shoot? I want some dramatic lighting that creates some drama. I know! I know what we can do! Today we're going to be looking at the newer conical spot suit and what this is going to let us do is look as if we're shooting with some natural light shining through windows or blinds um, but also to use a, a kind of like a slab of light to create some really dramatic and dynamic images. So let's take a look at it. Okay, so it's a great solid piece of metal. We've got a Bowens mount at the end. We've got an area here where we can actually put in the gobo holder. So that goes in here. Okay, so we've got the, the box the gobo here, which is going to create kind of like a large window. And then we've got the diagonal slits. So this is going to look like blinds coming from the window. It's pretty cool. But the one I'm probably most excited about is this slit of light. So we can kind of like put this on areas we want to focus on maybe the eyes, or maybe just kind of like just on just one part of the body to make it kind of like stand out. So um, there is another part to it as well, which actually holds some colored gel cards. We've got lots of different colors here, and but we're probably mostly going to use these red and blue ones. So they'll look fantastic. So let's get into the shoot and see where we go. Ready to shoot. Alison's done our hair and makeup. We've got Evie looking fantastic and a nice kind of like Hollywood look. Um, got a lovely bodysuit. We're all oiled up, so basically the gel light and catches on the skin looks fantastic. We've got a red gel on each of the lights here. Um, they're at kind of like 1 16th power, so a little bit less than what the spot suit is on, which is on 1 8th power. So the light really stands out. And using the slant, the slit, kind of like light, light to kind of like go over the face at the moment. I'm going to change it to go um, vertically to go down the body, but first we're going to do horizontal. Um, and so yeah, let's see how it goes on. It's been really tricky to get the focus where we want it, because we're in natural light at the moment. You can't see where the light's going to hit it, but it's been trial and error and we've got some fantastic images, so I'm really happy. And now we're going to go on to the next one going to be more cinematic cyan and orange colors so let's see how that turns out if you do a favor stay on that spot okay because then we know reference wise where we're going With this conical snoot, because we're shooting in uh, daylight and it's natural light in there, you can't actually see where the snoot is going. So to see the position of the gobo, I'm looking directly into the lens to find where it's going. So we're going to go for a vertical, which is hopefully going to be easier to position on EV. So let's see if we can get that, okay? How are we going to get it? We're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. It's getting there. It's coming. Keep that there. Oh, sexy. It was really, really good. Okay, so we're ready for our second line setup. And what we're going to be doing now is using the uh, conical spot snoot again, but more with the window box gobos so it looks as if it's light coming in through a window and also the blinds one as well uh, but we're going to be using a fill light to make the shadows less contrasty so it looks more realistic as if it was a real shadow and a window light bouncing around the room um, Evie's changed so Evie come on in so we've got a nice kind of like wet look because it's kind of like swimsuit kind of look as well so with that being said let's get into the shoot and see what we get on Can you go 
behind uh, Evie a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Just up and over. That's cool. Huh? We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, that's a wrap. Thanks very much for watching the video. Please click like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you for the next video. Thanks.